Let's take a big look at big history. Welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We have a sixth grader and a second grader, and today I wanted to share with you Big History Project. What it is, how we're using it, all the things. Let's take a big look at Big History Project. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find us right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. As always, I will have what I'm talking about linked down below. So, you guys know we have been using the Big History Project. We are doing it together as a family on Mondays as part of Mom and Me Monday. So it is geared for grades, I think, six through 10. We are using it with a sixth grader and a second grader, and we are working through it together. There is a website, which I will show you, bighistoryproject.com, which um, has just an amazing amount of resources. Again, I'll show you when we pop over, but it's got teaching guides, how to use it, all of the information, how to use it by state. It is geared toward public school teachers. Um, however, the way that we've been using it is it is available on Khan Academy. So everything that you need is right in line. We are halfway through our school year currently when I'm filming this. We've made it through five of the 10 thresholds. So if you are unfamiliar with what Big History Project is, Big History Project is an open source which means that it is made from things that are free and widely available. Things like professional journals, um, a few things that were designed specifically for the Big History Project, crash course episodes, um, all kinds, all kinds of things that are, are free and widely available on the internet. Someone has gone through, it's actually, well, it's been crowdsourced, so it's like a group of people have gone through and stacked all of these amazing resources in chronological order to explain the birth of things, the poof into existence at the beginning of time to now. We have been using in, in, in Khan Academy and it goes right in line. So there's little tests, little questions you can watch, you can read all right in line on Khan Academy. You can also use all of the available resources, which there's a planning guide, a setup guide, an ideal timing guide. There's teacher training videos that you can watch as homeschoolers. Anybody can use this, anybody. Um, and um, just a ton of resources available on their website, which again, I will show you in a minute. This is an amazing blend because it does start so heavily in science. So genuinely, we've made it through five of 10 thresholds and the thresholds um, are thresholds of increasing complexity, which means that there is something that happens at this point in time that we can never go back from. We can only ever move forward and it doesn't just move us forward, it launches us forward into the next thing. So uh, the Big Bang, going into um, you know, from, from single cellular, multicellular organisms, uh, the planet transitioning to, you know, a heavy favor of oxygen breathers. I mean, there's these massive things that launch us forward and, and, and prevent us from ever being able to go back. So threshold of increasing complexity. Now we did just get to the study of Darwin. And as a secular homeschooler, I loved absolutely love. I am a secular homeschooler. I do have a personal Christian faith. I absolutely love the way that they handled and discussed how evolution plays into faith and science. And the way that those things go together, I thought it was perfectly delicately handled. So I appreciated the evaluation of that very much. It is in the fifth threshold. The study of life, if you were wondering and would like to see that, you can find it right on their website or through Khan Academy, but mm, chef's kiss, so well done, just in case you were wondering. Um, okay, so let's pop over and I will show you how we are using the Big History Project and we'll take a little peruse uh, both through the Khan Academy and through the Big History website itself. So let's go. Oh, and remember, all entirely free. Okay guys, let's take a look at the Big History Project. So this is their official website. 
as you can see, it's awesome. They do have multiple courses, the history project, world history project, all kinds of things available, as well as an AP prep, shorter courses. Um, but we're going to talk just today about the big history project. So big history project, as you can see, uh, they have a public site for anybody who doesn't just wants to learn. I mean, you don't even have to be a teacher or a student. It lets you know about the course. It tells you the ideal grades, course links, course materials, tons of information. Now, there are ongoing trainings for this, which I think is really amazing. State specific planning resources, which is a whole web page you can get to, how to score things, the teacher course plan, which was very helpful for me, the course guide, and then the teaching guide. So these are all, one, amazing resources that somebody has put together, which I think are truly amazing. Let's pop this one open. Now, I first, when I started looking at this, took a massive, massive deep dive into, and you can click and it'll take you straight to it. It's so cool. The amount of effort that's been put into these websites is amazing. Um, when I started, I kind of, I deep dove, I went through, I was like, what do I need to know? I read this entire thing. I did the whole kit and caboodle. I did all of the things, but I also went over, is that, oh, that's the teaching guide I was just in. Um, teacher course plan tells you how long to spend where, which is so cool. It gives you everything that you need to know. All of this is broken out. Now pay really close attention to this because I'm going to show you something that makes your life so much easier. But when I started looking into this, I was like, okay, I have got to, I've got to get into it. It is important that I, I love this and it looks amazing and I really want to do it. So it's going to be really important for me to learn this, do this. I can do it. You can do it. We can do it. I went through, I registered as a teacher and they have actual teaching videos helping you understand how to utilize. I registered, I did all of the trainings, I did all of the things, um, and then, and then, sweet friends, you can, you can register for free, it's absolutely amazing. I went through, I did all of this, so cool, and then I found the game changer for me, because I'm not a teacher, I'm not teaching a classroom, I have no, no, like anything I have to align to. I found the big history project on Khan Academy. Now, you may be like, Shauna, why is this a big deal? This is a big deal because I am not having to map out this full plan. I am not having to do all of this. Granted, I still, I mean, do you see this right here? What is big history? Okay, learning outcomes 1.0, welcome to big history. Click here. What is big history? Welcome to big history. Okay, it goes through the same things. Now I'm just gonna show you unit one because it is so cool. If you click on it, it is an activity. It tells you right here, you click on it, it's all hyperlinked. Okay, this is all in line, activity. This is an article that you read, activity. This is a video that you read, everything you do, you play it all right here in line and you can click up next, next. Now you can also, right here, assign this to a Google Classroom. We're doing it as a family, so I haven't had the need to do that. However, everything that is available and amazing over here on Big History is in line over here on Khan Academy. Now, I would say probably that a lot of the writings, like there's not been anything to ask us to write too much or anything like that. Um, there are a lot of activities where you can print it, vocab tracking. We have a book that we're using uh, where the, the history timeline notebook where we're writing out our, um, our driving questions for each new thing. We're reading together. But what we're doing is we're coming down here and we're doing the quizzes together. And it's really fun when you get them all right and confetti rains down. Um, so we have made it through... Let me go back here. We have made it in our personal study. We just started how our ancestors evolved here. Um, so we are well on track to be finished by the end of the year, which I can't believe because I thought it was going to take so, so long. I think you could definitely deep dive this and go further everywhere. But this checks the box for me. It's been fun. It's been amazing. And it's been an invaluable resource. So this is amazing. 
absolutely amazing the work and effort that's been put into this. But the fact that I can then come over here and it's all in line for free for me through Khan Academy tracks our progress has the questions right in line. So stinking cool and amazing. So that this through Khan Academy and with our history notebook where we're making notes, this is how we are using this. We do it on Mama Me Monday. We read it together. It is amazing. We love it. We're having so much fun. Um, we just go through and do it all on Monday. It takes a, a huge chunk of time on our Monday, but it's fun and we're enjoying it and we're doing it together. So big history project. If you haven't considered it, consider it. And again, they have other other courses. So I personally think it's amazing. We might, I don't know, I haven't decided yet if I want to get, and it tells you how many resources are available here, articles, activities, videos, assignments. I haven't decided what we're doing for history next year, but this is pretty gosh darn amazing. So that is my personal theory. I love that they're using uh, open source resources that are already available. So crash course and other videos and things that are specifically written for it, but it's all free and available and amazing. So if you haven't checked it out, go check it out, go check it out. It's amazing. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed and found helpful this big look into the big history project. I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm so glad we've chosen to use it this year. I was incredibly intimidating, intimidated by looking at the Big History Project website. It was so much, it's so meaty. I watched all of the teacher trainings because I knew that it was very good. I could tell it was exactly what I wanted, but the idea of, of putting it together and teaching it was very daunting to me. So once I found, but I knew it was going to be worth it. So I was going to do it. But once I found the Khan Academy site, uh, that is it genuinely makes it possible for me, for my style, for our homeschool. So that right there is the thing that I just, I, I, I verbally celebrated, genuinely celebrated once we found that. So I am so excited that we've used it. We've loved it. It's been amazing. Um, and I hope if nothing else, just give it a check, give it a look, see if it's right for you. Again, totally free, totally amazing. Let me know guys, write on down in the comments or over on Instagram if you have any questions, if you want any more information, uh, if you have anything to add, please, please let us know. You guys know we love some free resources here. We do not want cost to be what prohibits anyone from choosing homeschool. So any resource that we can share is absolutely invaluable. Guys, I hope that you found it as helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. Bye guys!